Welcome back to 13 News Now at Noon. June is Pride Month, and Ghent in Norfolk is showing its support to the LGBTQ community with a fun event later this month. Here to tell us all about it, we have Robert Roman. Robert, thank you so much for being here. You're so very welcome. Let's talk about Ghent Pride. First of all, what do people need to know about this event? What makes it different from the other Pride events this month? Well, it's because um, Ghent is a very inclusive community. So we kind of wanted to have a small festival to introduce Pride Week, which culminates with Pride Fest on Saturday. So we were doing it on Monday, but because Juneteenth falls on Monday, we weren't going to take anything away from that celebration or, or that event. And we're doing it on Tuesday, June 20th from 6 to 10 p.m. So you, you come out, what can people expect while they're there? Will there be vendors and, and music and food? Like what people can expect there. <laughs> well, I tell you what, we do we do two unique um, events. Okay. And we have the Locks of Love, where we've built a fence, kind of mimics Paris, France, um, where you buy a lock and you can profess your love for someone in your life, and you put it on this fence, mm. and there you pay eight bucks and you put it on there, and it gets displayed throughout throughout the, the um, Hampton Roads. I love that. And then we have um, these vases that mm -hmm. were provided by one of the vendors that we work with at Decorum Furniture, and they give us this vase. It's just a white bisque vase mm -hmm. of a face and we give it to about 30 different artists throughout Hampton Roads and they zhuzh it up oh, and they make so it neat. absolutely stunning and those will be available for a silent auction and for voting. Oh I love this. So lots of creativity on display here. Yes, we'll also have performers, we'll have signature cocktails. We are celebrating the life also of Charles Kirkland mm -hmm. who passed away this year and was a big activist in the LGBTQ Q community and he were doing a drink in his honor. Oh, that's fantastic. And, and you know, we have to mention the fact that there is a reason why there is a cover charge to this event. I definitely want to go into this because a lot of Pride events don't have a cover charge. This one does, but there's a special reason why. Can you tell us? Right. And this? first of all, um, there is a cover charge, mm -hmm. but if you can't, uh, if you can't afford it, mm -hmm the doors are open mm. and everyone is welcome so you don't have to pay it. But we do ask for $13 per person and that goes to support six non-for-profits and the Ghent Business Association. And those are Hampton Roads Pride, P Flag, um, Hope House Foundation, um, Stonewall Sports, um, the LGBT Life Center, and Todd Rosenlieb Dance. And those are all organizations that are Norfolk centric because yeah. um, and they do a lot of good work to to support families and to support people and it's not only the LGBTQ community they support other people especially Hope House Foundation absolutely so it's gonna be a fun event but also a very meaningful event with the causes behind it for it sure it is gonna be an incredible event there's gonna be music there's gonna be food there's gonna be you know um, Christ St. Luke's Church will be there their congregation will be telling everyone in our community that they are welcome at the table. So we are very happy. It's an inclusive event. It's for people to really come and, and just be themselves and yeah. to kind of, in a world that's kind of a little crazy, yeah. that we can, we, can, we can just be ourselves and, and you know, accept the love from everyone. Fantastic. Gin Pride happening June 20th. Robert, thank you so much for this information. You're so very welcome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.